Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we are delving into The Big Picture, a profound exploration authored by the acclaimed theoretical physicist Sean Carroll. Within these pages, readers are invited to journey through the vast and intricate landscapes of scientific thought, where the profound questions orbiting life, consciousness, and the cosmos are met with the rigorous clarity of scientific inquiry. The Big Picture is an audacious endeavor to connect the dots between the complexities of philosophical quandaries, the bewildering realm of physics, and the ever-evolving narrative of biology. It serves as a master key, unlocking a method to approach and rationalize the grandest enigmas posed by our existence and the universe at large. Authored by a respected figure in the scientific community, Carroll is a seasoned professor at the California Institute of Technology, with a decorated career acknowledged by the National Science Foundation, NASA, the American Institute of Physics, and the Royal Society of London. Carroll's expertise, further established by his 2015 Guggenheim Fellowship, ensures that the big picture is not only a tour de force of scientific thought, but also an accessible guide to understanding the world. This book beckons those entranced by the probing depths of philosophy, students, and enthusiasts of the ever-fascinating world of physics, as well as individuals captivated by the intricacies of biology and evolutionary theory. The big picture stands as an intellectual compass for anyone eager to comprehend the universe in sweeping, elegant strokes. Join us as we unpack the resonant themes and insights lodged within this remarkable work by Sean Carroll, where every page brings us closer to the grand design of it all. The Big Picture, on the origins of life, meaning, and the universe itself. Introduction, Exploring the Cosmos, a journey to understand existence and evolution. Embark on a quest that's as old as civilization itself, the pursuit to crack the code of our very existence. Questions that stir in the depths of human thought. Why are we here? And what does it all mean? have echoed through the ages. Although these profound mysteries remain largely unanswered, the remarkable strides in science offer us illuminating insights into the cosmos and our place within it. As distant as the answers may seem, with each discovery, we edge closer to understanding the grand design of time, the vast expanse of space, and the enigmatic nature of consciousness. This narrative unfolds the latest findings that bring us closer to these eternal questions. You'll find within this exploration the reasons behind the skepticism toward phenomena like telepathy and levitation, insights into the evolutionary shift that saw life forms embrace critical thinking upon transitioning from aquatic to terrestrial existence, an introduction to entropy and its pivotal role in the universe's grand tapestry. Part 1. Unraveling the Mysteries of the Universe with Physics, Debunking the Myths of the Mystical There was a time when the mysteries of the rain's descent and the sun's relentless glow were attributed to the whims of deities. Fast forward to the present day, and physicists have traded in myth for a more profound understanding, relying on the scientific method and the laws of physics to demystify the world around us. These scientific principles not only deepen our comprehension of natural processes, but also serve to dispel many claims of paranormal activity that linger in the public's fascination. Enter the core theory, a term coined by Nobel laureate physicist Frank Wilczek to encapsulate the foundational principles governing the universe. This elegant framework delineates how particles, quarks, electrons, neutrinos, and so forth, interact and respond to fundamental forces such as electromagnetism and gravity, including the influence of the Higgs field, endowing particles with mass. While the core theory might not be the theory of everything, it powerfully addresses all phenomena that significantly impact our day-to-day reality. It explains interactions on a molecular level 
as well as the mechanics behind the effortless hover of a hummingbird. Through this lens, the core theory becomes a tool of great value, armed with principles like crossing symmetry that nullify notions of telekinesis and telepathy often fantasized in the realms of science fiction. Crossing symmetry presents a critical argument. It claims that if a particle, crucial for telekinesis, existed, let's dub it particle X, it would have been unveiled in proton-antiproton collision experiments. However, despite countless such experiments, particle X remains undetected, even in the most extreme environments. By this logic, not only is telekinesis relegated to the domain of the imaginary, but so too are other paranormal capabilities such as telepathy and levitation. Physics, therefore, emerges not only as a tool for understanding, but as a beacon of reason, guiding us away from the supernatural and towards the tangible truths of the cosmos. Part 2. Challenging the Cornerstone of Causality in the Cosmic Framework Causality weaves a familiar thread through both the tapestry of science and the philosophical musings of humankind. The ancient belief that every event is tethered to a reason and yields a consequence. Yet, as we delve deeper into the intricate machinery of the universe, the status of causality as a fundamental principle is increasingly questioned by both physicists and philosophers who now contemplate that perhaps this cornerstone of understanding may not be as crucial as once believed. The allegiance to causality can be traced back to none other than Aristotle, who steadfastly claimed that every stir and flutter in the world was propelled by a preceding force. Consider a book perched silently on a table. Aristotle would argue it remains static only until an external force, a gust of wind or the touch of a hand, compels it to budge. Aristotle pondered further, probing into the origin of the primal motion that birthed cosmic dance, and concluded there must be an unmoved mover, akin to the divine, responsible for this inception. Today, however, physicists question this narrative, asserting that not every motion requires a cause, a shift in perspective that diminishes the significance of causality in understanding the universe's fabric. Space itself provides a compelling argument, visualizing an object in the vacuum of space, divorced from any influences that might impose friction or direction. This object will perpetuate motion. This observation is succinctly captured by the law of conservation of momentum, illustrating that perpetual motion needs no instigator. It is simply the nature of objects to continue in motion indefinitely without an external cause. The roots of this de-emphasizing causality stretch back to the Enlightenment, where French astronomer Pierre-Simon Laplace famously dismissed the notion of cause and effect, focusing instead on the observable patterns before us. Using billiard balls as a metaphor, Laplace demonstrated that the laws of physics remain consistent, whether a scenario is played forward or in reverse. The implication is profound. If physical laws alone can describe both forward and reversed actions without discrepancy, causality is deemed irrelevant, and it is the immutable laws of physics that are the true choreographers of motion. Part 3. Zooming in and out. The dual lenses of fundamental and emergent theories. The relinquishing of causality prompted a seismic shift in the scientific worldview, prompting an overhaul in perspective. As the proverbial dust of this paradigm shift settled, two distinct approaches to understanding emerged, one microscopic and fundamental, the other macroscopic and emergent. To grasp the nuances between these two frameworks, envision a room permeated by gas. On the one hand, the fundamental perspective reveals a frenetic dance of molecules, colliding and gliding in perpetual motion. Here, precision reigns supreme as the velocity and position of each molecule become the focal point. Now, step back and observe the gas on an emergent level. The view morphs dramatically. The gas now takes on the characteristics of a fluid, described in terms of pressure, temperature, and density, properties concealed when observed under the intense scrutiny of the fundamental lens. 
It's this emergent view that illuminates the dynamics of a collective rather than the individuals. Both lenses offer invaluable insights, and the real conundrum lies in discerning which to peer through when confronting a scientific question. Although each carries its own language and principles, neither is innately superior or more factual. Both serve as indispensable tools in the scientist's arsenal. For instance, when dealing with scarcely populated regions requiring a microscopic inspection of molecular behavior, the fundamental approach is the key. Conversely, a crowded scene brimming with interactive molecules invites the broader, more holistic emergent perspective. As our narrative unfolds, we'll explore how the concept of emergence not only shifts our scientific lens, but also enriches our comprehension of time itself. Part 4. The Asymmetry of Time Why Entropy Charts the Course from Past to Future Delving into the fabric of time through a physicist's eyes can lead to quite the conundrum. If the fundamental laws of physics don't discriminate between past and future events, why do we perceive time as a one-way street, always marching forward? On a fundamental level, the potential for temporal navigation seems boundless. Take Laplace's billiard ball scenario or consider atomic collisions, pendulum swings, or the orbit of planets. All could theoretically play out in reverse without breaking a single law of physics. It is here that time appears symmetric, indifferent to the direction in which it flows. Yet, when we step back into the emergent, macroscopic realm, the future and the past diverge drastically. Memories anchor us to what has been, while aging and anticipation tether us to the progression towards what will be. This paints a picture of time as asymmetric, but why? Enter entropy, the agent of chaos and disorder in any system. Under the inexorable law of increasing entropy over time, systems evolve towards disarray. Much like human beings who age and weaken as entropy accrues, the universe too surrenders to this relentless tide. It is an irreversible momentum. Once the sand castle erodes, the sand will not spontaneously form elaborate structures again. The empirical evidence supports the idea that entropy grows with time. This is logical when contemplating that a universe of high entropy, brimming with chaotic potential states, is far more probable than one neatly arranged in low entropy configurations. Disarray is simply the more common state of affairs, like sand strewn randomly across a beach rather than meticulously sculpted into castles. This inclination towards increasing entropy provides the foundational explanation for our understanding of the so-called, quote, arrow of time. Nevertheless, it does not account for the peculiar emergence of complexity and organization observed in galaxies and living organisms. As we extend our gaze further, we must examine these exceptions, the intriguing enigmas that challenge the entropic fate of cosmic and biological evolution. Part 5. From Simplicity to Complexity, The Paradox of Increasing Entropy It appears counterintuitive that the universe's path toward greater disorder, as dictated by entropy, would simultaneously enable the emergence of intricate and organized systems. Yet, the relationship between chaos and complexity is far from straightforward. It bears a curve, where simplicity exists at the extremities but a peak of complexity sits at its heart. Envision the process of adding milk to coffee. Initially, both liquids are distinct and the system is simple. As milk trickles into the coffee, a temporary maelstrom of marbling and whirls ensues, a snapshot of complexity. Eventually, the fluids fully integrate, returning to simplicity as a uniform light brown concoction emerges. This metaphor mirrors the universe's state throughout its evolution. In the microseconds preluding the Big Bang, the universe was a crucible of heat and density, its entropy at rock bottom, equating to simplicity. Fast forward to an era where the last black hole evaporates and we face maximum entropy, with the universe again resting in an uncomplicated, homogeneous state. The moment we inhabit is a fortunate exception, a time when entropy climbs steadily, 
and an array of complex marvels fills the cosmic panorama. Planets, stars, galaxies, and even the enigmatic black holes owe their existence to this gradual upsurge in entropy. While it's relatively straightforward to conceptualize how entropy can orchestrate the grand ballet of a swirling galaxy, its application in biological complexity, such as humans or the curious platypus, seems less instinctive. Yet, it is within this entropic rise that life's intricate tapestry finds its origin, inviting us to explore further the cosmic dance that fuses disarray with the beauty of organized life. Part 6 the entropic spark of life, and the relentless march of evolution. The genesis of complex life on Earth remains shrouded in mystery, yet emerging theories offer tantalizing glimpses into its inception. One such theory, proposed by geochemist Michael Russell, frames life as an instrument of entropy, a catalyst accelerating Earth's natural inclination towards greater disorder. At the heart of living organisms on Earth is a chemical transaction, the hydrogenation of carbon dioxide, which yields methane and water. These byproducts harbor less free energy than the reactants, signifying a transition to higher entropy. Russell posits that life itself is the planet's unconscious strategy to foster this transition, to escalate its entropy, and this very process could mark the inception of life on Earth. Russell's prescience was evident when his prior prediction about the existence of underwater hydrothermal vents proved astoundingly accurate. These vents, discovered in 2000, appear to have created the perfect crucible for the earliest microorganisms to thrive, suggesting a deep connection between Earth's geothermal features and the emergence of life. As simplicity gave way to complexity, reproduction and mutation sculpted life through the relentless chisel of evolution. The principles of natural selection, first unveiled by Charles Darwin, shine light on the diversity of life. It is through this process that species accrue advantageous traits, tailored to their unique niches, much like how giraffes evolved elongated necks to graze upon the high canopies that other grazers could not reach yet sheer survival and physical adaptation only tell part of the tale. What underlies the evolution of traits synonymous with intelligence? To decipher this intricate puzzle, we must delve deeper into the evolutionary narrative and unravel how complexity and consciousness branch from the roots of entropic growth. Part 7. Tracing the Evolution of Consciousness From Ocean Depths to Land's Expanse among the universe's enigmas, consciousness stands out as particularly elusive, its origins and nature wrapped in deep mystery. With steadfast progress, however, scientists grow ever more confident in their quest to unravel its evolutionary tale. The narrative of consciousness likely unfolded in stages, with one crucial phase coinciding with the migration of species from water to land. Bioengineer Malcolm McIver spotlights this transition as a fundamental leap in the development of consciousness. The murky underwater vistas impeded long range sight, compelling aquatic creatures to prioritize swift, reflexive responses over contemplative thought. Survival beneath the waves was predominated by instinct, leaving little room for the kind of critical thinking that characterizes conscious minds. With the advent of terrestrial life, a new world opened up, one where foresight was possible and threats could be discerned from a distance. This newfound clarity allowed early land dwellers to strategize, to contemplate various outcomes, and to begin the cultivation of cognition and critical thinking. It marked the dawn of imagination as a tool for survival and set the stage for what we recognize today as consciousness. Yet, how does a constellation of atoms within our brains? give rise to the rich tapestry of consciousness. This remains an unanswered riddle. Traditionally, the dilemma has been cast in terms of dualism, the philosophy suggesting a clear divide between the mental and the physical realms. But dualism leaves us with gnawing questions like how these supposedly separate domains manage such seamless interplay. Renowned dualist philosopher René Descartes once proposed the pineal gland as the seat of interaction between mind and body. 
When pressed for clarification on the mechanics of this link, Descartes faltered, unable to articulate the conduit for this connection. To bind mind and matter into a coherent picture, dualism seems insufficient, hinting that the solution to the puzzle of consciousness may lie within a framework that does not compartmentalize the mental from the physical. The scientific method has consistently pierced through the veils of the unknown, suggesting it's only a matter of time before the mysteries of consciousness yield to our persistent inquiry. Final Summary Our journey through the big picture illuminates the breadth of knowledge that modern science has amassed about our universe, the natural laws that govern it, and the intricacies of the human mind. Physics, with its robust laws, provides the framework for understanding a vast array of phenomena, from the cosmic dance of celestial bodies to debunking the allure of pseudoscience. By embracing both the fundamental and emergent perspectives, we've learned how to interpret the universe on macro and micro scales. We've unfolded the paradox of entropy, a force driving both the universe's march towards disorder and the birth of complex structures, including life itself. This relentless increase in entropy has not only shaped galaxies, but has also fostered the evolution of life, enabling diverse species to thrive and adapt within Earth's varied habitats. At the crux of our exploration lies the enigma of consciousness, the genesis of which may be rooted in the evolutionary leap from sea to terra firma, signaling a pivotal advancement in cognitive capabilities. Through scientific reasoning, we reconsider the age-old philosophy of dualism and edge closer to a unified understanding of the mind as an integral part of the physical world. While there remain puzzles without answers and questions without explanations, the tools of science equip us with the means to continue the quest for knowledge. The insights garnered lend us a panoramic understanding that, while not yet complete, is rich, multifaceted, and endlessly fascinating, promising that the ultimate truths of our existence are within reach of our ever-expanding horizon of discovery. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.